Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, I continued to comb the Gerudo Highlands, and we found out that there really isn't much of substance here. I, I guess that makes sense for the area being so small, but there isn't much to note other than a Silver Linel that dropped a Star Fragment. Now this time, we're going to be finishing off the Gerudo Highlands, I believe, unless there's something else. I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of wandering off-screen to see if there's a, sh a shrine that I haven't gotten, but other than that, I think we're done. Well, we will be done once we finish this shrine quest. Sign of the Shadow. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Solving the riddle of the ancient song that Cass sang for you at the Gerudo Tower is likely to reveal a shrine. And I have no clue what that means. I see that there is a shrine down there, so I think we should at least start by flying there. And I feel like, looking at this, as light from the northwest skies, as shines from the northwest skies, we're supposed to wait for, I don't know, sunset? I think that makes sense, which is a bit inconvenient because we can't really pinpoint that time. And then I'm guessing we just shoot an arrow there. In fact, I'm looking... It's sunset now, isn't it? Do I just shoot? I guess? It didn't seem to do anything. Let's look at this again while we still have some sunset left. As light from the, nor uh, from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. It's not saying that the light needs to be in the northwest skies. It's saying that just like light from the northwest skies, an arrow should fly from the tower's shadow, piercing heaven's light. So we just need to stand in the shadow of the tower and shoot something? Like shoot the sky? Skrbloosh? Or maybe pierce, what is it? Pierce the heavens? Pierce heaven's light. Maybe we just need to shoot this. I don't know. I mean, that didn't do anything, but it's worth a shot. You know what we could do? And I, I kind of regret now <laughs> jumping from the tower. Shooting that from the tower. That's possible, right? Okay, let's try shooting that. Thankfully, I got this ancient bow in between episodes, which is going to make shooting... Wow, that thing really goes f far. It really makes shooting easy. Oh, that was close. Just a little bit higher. Yeah, I went to the Akala research area place. That was too high. And I got this bow along with the remain. Oh, that was dead center, but it didn't do it. Let me let me look at this again. I also actually while while I'm in these menus, I also uh, got the rest of the ancient uh, the ancient gear, which we've been stalling for a long time because I didn't have the ancient cores. But finally, I do have it. And it gives me something called Ancient Proficiency. I, I'm i going to assume that that increases the amount of damage I do with Ancient Weapons. Maybe? That makes the most sense. Okay, uh, but as light shines from the northwest skies, so that's the time we need to do it, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies, pierce heaven's light to reveal the, the prize. So, northwest skies... The sun is currently there. Uh, so I wonder... That right there? That little gazebo? If we shoot back at the sky... This is absurd. If we shoot back at the sky from this, we've fulfilled the the ancient prophecy of, of the cast making up songs. Because honestly, he probably just made all these songs up. Okay, so we'll stand here. This is where the ta tower shadow is. And we'll shoot back at the sky? I don't know. Boosh? That do it? No. I almost wonder if we need to wait for the shadow to reach this location and then shoot at the sun. That makes a lot of sense. Also, thinking about where the sun is at noon, it's not right above us. And I wonder if we were in the northern part of the map, if it would be. 
because I've, I've never noticed that the sun doesn't come up from the actual west before, but now, now that we're in the southern part of the map, I do notice that. That's, that's intriguing. I wonder if that is taken into account and there's like a, a hemisphere type system in this game. That would be really sweet. It's almost there. You can see it down there. Really wacky looking shadow. It, it looks like a cupcake, but a cupcake that has an onion growing out of it. Which is not a cupcake I would want to enjoy, but that's what it looks like, and I can't lie about these things. Or maybe a, a tulip tuber is a bulb that's also possible. Maybe I just have Pikmin on the brain. Oh, 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 it lit up! It lit up! Oh, oh man, oh man, we're doing it! Oh, I'm gonna wait for the shadow to come here, though. Oh, come hither! Come hither, my shadow! My shadowy friend! Oh, Shadow! Okay, now now's the time. Shoot at the sun! <laughs> oh, I did it! Oh, that, that was a good puzzle. And I guess now I know why that there, there's that weird platform there. That's where the shrine comes from. That was a cool puzzle. <laughs> I'm surprised that I figured that out. It, it was very vague. It was actually really vague, and I I had to do some uh, reading in between the lines, but that's what makes puzzles great, and this was a good puzzle. Shrine time! Sign of the shadow complete. Now, normally I would just skip past this, but I want to know what the shrine's called. The Sasakai Shrine. A modest test of strength. Oh yeah! I, I do love me some combat. I am... I'm all about the calm bats. Those bats are calm. It, you, you know what, forget it. Let's, let's kill this thing. It has a short sword and a spear, meaning I can actually abuse this enemy pretty hard. I do have a, where is it? A Lionel spear. Uh, ignore why I have a Azora spear for the moment. That'll come later. Shoot your thing. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, I can just kite this to, into oblivion. Ow, and also get poked. Uh, now is the time... Actually, no, I'm not going to use the ancient gear. Like, I, like I've said, it's kind of my saying now in video games. It doesn't matter if the enemy does a bajillion damage, if it insta-kills you on every hit. Because if you don't get hit, it might as well be doing nothing. And so if I'm just good about not being hit, I should be fine. Although, that being said, I'm not going to be stupid... And I am going to uh, use this. Oh yeah, that's another thing I did off screen. So I, I decided, because I don't do this very much, to experiment around with some recipes. And I found some really good ones. First of all, I don't think I've made note of this. Uh, there is this recipe right here. I discovered something in the game that is really weird. Uh, there's this recipe, right? It gives 11 hearts and 3 minutes and 50 seconds of high level attack power boost. Then there's this one, which gives 8 hearts and... Eight and eight and uh, yeah, eight minutes and fifty seconds of a high attack power boost, but the recipe is exactly the same, and I made them at exactly the same time. So recipes can be different, and then I decided to toy around with the recipe, and I got a couple of iterations of the same different food. That's awesome, but that's not why I'm here. I am here because I discovered a new recipe which is absolutely bonkers good. You remember the monster extracts that you can get from uh, Kilton? Well, if you take four bananas and one monster extract, it doesn't matter when you make these, because apparently making food at midnight gives you a chance of getting a really good food item. Doesn't matter when you make them, you'll get a 30 minute high attack power boost, which is bonkers good. That's amazing. Okay, that being said, I'm going to stop stalling on this menu and I'm going to eat that and then equip that. Cool. What on earth just happened? What? Did I? What just? Oh. I don't know what happened here. Uh, it's. I, I really don't understand what just happened. Uh, okay, but I'll take it. I. He hit the, the pillar, but I also shield bashed him, and I didn't take damage, and he went into a different phase? Oh, he's doing this. Okay. You can die. There he, he should. Yeah, he dies from this. Nice. It was even a bit of overkill. Yeah, I don't know what what happened there, but sometimes the the guardian scouts can be a bit buggy, as we've seen many times. Okay, uh, I don't want any of those. 
let's just go to the end and get claim our reward. Hopefully it's like a, you know, a frost sword because, or a frost spear, because I believe we need those for the, uh, the weapon connoisseur mission. It's a frost blade. Wait, don't we, we need that, don't we? Right? Right? My voice gets high pitched when, <laughs> when I discover something. Let's see, uh, weapon connoisseur. He wants a frost spear. <sighs> not a frost sword. Okay, well, I <laughs> got my hopes up and it's, it's close, but not quite the same. So what are we going to be doing with the rest of the episode? Well, dear viewer, I'm glad you asked. I think, personally, we are done with the Gerudo Highlands. I can't think of anything else or any place else we haven't explored. That being said, I am going to be exploring it a little bit more. I'm going to warp back up to the summit and just walk around, see, if, uh, see where my exploration takes me. I don't think I'm going to uncover anything, but I... Also, don't feel like the two episodes that we've spent here would be enough to fully explore it. So, going back up to the summit, most of this will be cut out, and I will uh, see you when I've discovered something or when I've searched the entire thing. Ooh, a moose. Oh, I've heard about moose. Oh, I need to get up high. Uh, actually, I have an app for this. I've For the longest time, I've had stealth, like very bad stealth food just lingering around in my inventory, and so now is the time to use it. I have heard, I've heard a rumor, I don't know if it was in the comments, or I accidentally saw a video, oh wow. They heard me off that? That's crazy. That you can apparently ride moose. Now if this one doesn't disappear, I'd like to test that theory, it's probably gonna disappear, yeah it disappeared. Ah, oh, that's, that's sad. Oh, but there's our chance, okay. So let's actually eat this. Now that we have two level cold gear, I can then equip my stealth gear safely, I think? Yes, I can. And now I can sneak up on the moose. Hopefully I... Really? Can you leave? Oh, moose! Ow! Of course you spoil the moose! You are dead to me. Die. You spoiled my moose riding opportunity. Oh, but there's a blood moon. Oh, I was worried about that, but a blood moon means that the moose will respawn. <gasps> the moose are going to come back. I'll crouch down and wait for the blood moon. And then the moose will spawn. And what on earth? Uh... Uh, are you seeing this? You seeing this modeling error? Man, that's that's really the first time we've ever seen a modeling error this bad. Is right on this, let me show on the map so you can find out. Right here, this rock does not touch the ground and you can see inside of it. That's really bad. Uh, okay. Oh, the moose aren't back. Oh, why aren't the moose back? Where is the rum gone? Let's see if this guy drops a star fragment again. Survey says... Yes! This Lionel drops a star fragment every time you fight him, as well as a diamond. A diamond and a star fragment. What? What? That's amazing, and I know that I'm going to be coming back here every single Blood Moon until the game ends. That's crazy. I, I now have not an infinite, but an unlimited source of diamonds. So with that, I think I've explored everything. I think I have indeed in explored everything, which means there really isn't as much... Well, there isn't anything to this beyond what I've already found. I need to go drop by and get that Korok leaf because I failed to do so last episode. But otherwise, this area, I think, unless you have something else in mind that I, or know of something that I've missed, is conquered. All right, well, cool. I'll go get that Korok leaf and then we'll continue on. From the skies. I wonder how much damage that actually did. Probably like a quarter. Oh, that did a lot of, da of damage to him. Uh, well, I guess I'll just finish him off. 
That's almost enough, and this will certainly be enough. And done. Sadly, Nell Spear is badly damaged. Well, looks like I can just replace it with the Royal Halberd. All right, you might be wondering, what are we doing here? Why are we here? What are we... What am I trying to accomplish? Well, a while back, we were here... Well, actually, we, we've been... We've been in and out of Dig Dog Bridge so many times in the past couple of episodes because there was, all, there was a shrine down here right below the, the bridge that I had to grab. Then I had to come up here for the Weapon Connoisseur quest twice. Once to get a Fire Rod and another time to get a Moblin Club. And both times I picked up a, a Shrine Blip. At first, I thought it was the aforementioned troll shrine because it's under a bridge but it's actually not it's right over here and so off screen because i've been doing many many things off screen it's it's kind of to the point of the adventure where i, I can I'm, i can freely explore this these regions uh without without worry of being spoiled on something because i played the game enough i'm experienced enough like i'm shield bashing everything that comes my way so that was weird so I'm not I'm not really a noob anymore. I I feel like I'm almost to the point where I was in Skyward Sword, where I I was really skilled because I've played the game a lot, and so I've been exploring a lot, uh, and it means that I've done thing. Well, okay, I'll get I'll cut to the chase. I saw this shrine from over here. I was over here. I found a a Hinox. There's a Hinox right here, and I found I saw the shrine from here. And there's also a, a stables, which you guys have told me about in the comments. I got out my weapon like I was going to kill Beetle. What is this place? The Outskirts Stable. Oh, also, another thing I completely forgot about, because I've been doing a lot of off-screen work, as I said, is that I have fully upgraded... Oh, look. Picago. I fully upgraded my, my uh, stamina. And when I say fully upgraded, I mean, apparently, this is the cap. Three bars of stamina is the maximum amount of stamina you can have without getting an external boost. So, good for us. Now I can just upgrade my health. Okay, let's talk to Beetle, because he always has cool things. Thanks for coming to see me. Huh? Could that be? That's an en energetic rhino beetle. It's a rare beetle you almost never see. Would you take it to give it? Yes. Give, take, give it me it. Thank you. Thank you, Charles Martin. I, I really feel like Charles Martinet voiced this character, but... I'd have to see the credits. And he has nothing. Uh, another thing that I grabbed, if you probably saw me scrolling through my inventory, I have three, or I should have three star fragments. Yeah, I have three star fragments. Uh, I was wandering around off screen, not even recording, and I found a star fragment. And it's, it's one of those things that you have to grab, or else it will disappear. Whoa. Uh, okay. You're finally here. So it was true. I've I met the hero of Hyrule under the sacred tree. Yes, that is me. I I knew it was you. That sword leaves. <laughs> yeah, that sword. That sword leaves no room for doubt. I'm so happy to finally meet you. This is a little something I've been saying saving for you. Please take it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh man, it feels so good to check that off the bucket list. But now that I met you. Some of the excitement's gone. I mean, you're not even my type. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Well, toodaloo. <laughs> what? That's like the most random thing that I've ever completed. <laughs> you must be really busy, you know, saving the world and all. So instead of spending your time chatting with random strangers, maybe think about doing your, cho your job, yeah? Wow, now she's rude. <laughs> okay. Thanks, lady. Okay, uh, let's see. We can go in here, we can talk to Picongo. Ah, oh, there are so many things to do, and I don't even think we have time in the episode to do them. Hmm. Let's tackle the shrine, and then I'll end off the episode. Even if it's a little bit short, I'd rather it be shorter than having... than forcing Future Pal to cut good stuff out that should have been in the episode, but have to be cut because, you know, I have to include everything. I really get a lot... I get, I get ambitious with these episodes, as you'll notice. Uh, towards the end of a recording ses session, I will try to cram as much as humanly possible into a single, like, 30-minute time slot, and it means that I record for three hours for, you know, a 25-minute episode. Okay, the something-something shrine. Let's go in. 
Passing of the Gates. Rota O Rota Ooh Shrine. But isn't really that just the beauty of Breath of the Wild? One thing always leads to another. And so it's it all feels like one congruent flowing experience because, well, it is. And actually, I've kind of reached that point where a lot of these things that I'm saying. Whoa. A lot of these things that I, I am um, noticing about the game, and I've I've said throughout the adventure, I'm I'm writing actually down in like a word document now, because the end is is in sight. It's weird to say, but the end is in sight now. Uh, I can't throw this over. Yeah, I can't throw this over. And so I've been putting together a word document because after I I finish this adventure, I'm planning on recording my thoughts and actually making a review of the game itself. Oh, there's our chest. Because Breath of the Wild is really, is such a uh, unique beast. There are so many great things about it and there's so many things that I wish they had done differently. And it's, it's one of the, it's again, one of those things that I can't put into just a random episode. It's too big of a topic for that. If I did, I would most likely not get anything done. Where is this small key supposed to go? Oh, oh, I could probably shoot this from here. Shoot that. And it flips it. Oh. Flips it back. So we can go around and open the door for some reason? I don't know why we need to open the door, but we'll open it. So I'm saving... I'm saving my thoughts in, in this Word document so that after the adventure is all said and done, I can... Oh, I can probably toss it... Yeah, oh, I, I got it. I toss it into here, and then I flip the uh, the entire array. I'm going to make a review video for Breath of the Wild, actually. It's, it isn't really my style, but... Again, I feel like this is such a unique experience. A unique game that it, it kind of has to be done. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, do that. Launch me up. Thank you. Uh, there's that, but there's also a ladder. Okay, the ladder doesn't lead me anywhere. <laughs> as I jump back down in the pit. I actually need the ladder to get out. So let's jump back on that, that platform. And get the chest. But, I'm, I guess the... Ah. Uh, got it. Oh, that was close. Link, if Link didn't have those greaves, he would have hurt his shins quite a bit. Feathered Edge, 26 or actually 15 damage with long throw? I don't want that, but it looks cool. Uh, the game actually has to load a weapon. That was weird. So it's just a short sword? Huh. Okay, now how do we get up there? Oh, I got it. I get it. I get it. That's attached to this. So what I need to do is get launched up, shoot that, aha, stars above, that was cool. I've never, I don't think we've ever had a shrine where it was a puzzle just to get to the end. Well, actually, wait, isn't that every shrine? That's every shrine, isn't it? Uh, forgive me, I, I, I derp. And that is sadly going to be it for this episode. Well, it's sad for you because you have to wait a week f to get another episode, but it's great for me because I can just keep recording and record another episode, and it doesn't actually stink for me at all. So next time in Breath of the Wild, we're going to be talking to the denizens of this stable. What is it called? Outskirt Stable. And finding out what these quests are, because there are two quests. We're also going to be talking to Bikongo, meaning that we're going to recover one of the few remaining memories left. I, if the, I remember the comments correctly, it will be this memory that we are uncovering. But also, I have a couple of special things planned next episode. One of which will explain why I have a Zora Spear in my inventory. So, join me next time for another episode of Breath of the Wild. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And I look forward to seeing you in a few days or in a week. See ya!
hang them up in our house. Sadly, that means we're going to be having to take down some of the best weapons. That's really sad. This was our first blade saw. This was the blizzard rod which aided us so much for about 20 episodes. And this is kind of a, a lame weapon which I actually don't really care if I lose. Because it, it broke almost instantly. So let's take that down and hang up the lights. <laughs>